Hi everyone, welcome to Stucon Virtual. I'm Shivanshu and I'm accompanied with Jimmy to talk about demystifying load balancing in Istio. And the agenda includes uh, understanding what load balancing is, how out of the box load balancing configurations of Istio can be used, what are the different configurations. So for example, when we configure a simple LB, what does random round robin least request mean and how to configure them? What is consistent hashing and how to configure that uh, in Istio? And local ID load balancer settings, like what are the failure settings? What are the, how to actually achieve local ID load balancer setting in Istio? And we'll also try to dive deep into how to use this knowledge for uh, configuring load balancer settings in a multi-cluster setup. And then we we have a demo to demonstrate some of the common use cases. So for example, in my left, I have a single cluster setup and all the traffic that is coming from the ingress gateway uh, is distributed between different instances of app one. I may want to uh, distribute this traffic uh, on, on the basis of some set of rules and that's where the load balancing in Istio comes to the picture. Um, and on my right, I have a multi-cluster setup uh, with cluster one and cluster two. And I have a gateway, a multi-cluster gateway, which is distributing the traffic in cluster one and cluster two. So how would I configure load balancing in this scenario? How would I configure load balancing for the traffic distributing, getting distributed to cluster one and cluster two, and then traffic getting distributed between different instances in a, in a given cluster. So the idea is to un first understand a single cluster setup and then try to extend that knowledge to a multi-cluster setup. So what exactly load balancing is? Uh, so in a simpler terms, if I have a service A, uh, which contains this two proxy and service B, uh, again, it contains this two proxy and, it, and there are multiple instances of service B. So whatever traffic that is coming from instance A is some way or another need to be load balanced between different uh, instances of service B. And the power, uh, the flexibility to define some set of rules is what we call as load balancing algorithm. And we'll discuss what are the out of the box load balancing settings configured, which can be configured in Istio. I can, I mean, there's, there could be a requirement of splitting the traffic between, uh, let's say a staging environment or a production environment. I can also configure that and then distribute the traffic between the production environment you know, using some load balancing settings. There could be a use case of distributing traffic differently, load balancing traffic differently for a different port. So for example, for port 80, I may want uh, uh, traffic to be distributed in a round robin fashion among different instances of service. And for port 443, I may want uh, maybe consistent hashing uh, for my traffic to be getting distributed at different services of service of service A. And I may want to distribute uh, or load balance my traffic based on the locality of the service itself. So if it's in the same region, same zone, I may want to prioritize that as compared to a service running in a different zone, zone and different region. Maybe I can uh, configure some uh, weight-based uh, distribution for multi-region, multi-zonal environment. So for example, if a traffic is originating from region one, zone one, I want 70% uh, traffic to remain in the same zone, but 20% to another zone and 10% to another region and another zone. There could be a requirement of setting up a failover settings. So for example, if particular service in a given zone goes down, what should be the next service which uh, my, where my traffic should flow? Uh, so we'll take a look into how all this, what is the meaning of all these configurations and how to actually achieve within this tune. So first of all, uh, let's discuss about uh, random, which can be configured using simple LB in Istio. So the idea is, uh, so for, let's say for a given service A, if I have multiple instances, and at the moment, let's say only one, three and four are healthy. So the configuring random would only pick a healthy endpoint at random and then send the traffic to it. If I configure round robin, then 
the traffic would again go to healthy endpoints, but in a round robin fashion, meaning the request one may go to service A instance one, and then uh, the request would go to another healthy endpoint, which is service A instance three, and then the request may go to service A instance four. And then the round robin fashion, the request would come again to service A instance one. I can also configure least request. Uh, so for example, this is the, at a given time, this is the current scenario that so far service A has uh, served 801 request, service A instance two has served 1012 request and then it went unhealthy and uh, service A instance three has served 900 requests and so on. Um, so I want my traffic to go to the service which has served uh, least request so far. So I can do that by configuring least request uh, and simple LB in Istio. So what are the like best practices while choosing among these uh, load balancing settings? So for least request, um, I mean, it's preferred to use least request over round robin because as we can see that um, least request ensures that all the traffic is evenly distributed based on the least request so it ensures more uh, so it's 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 basically as serves as a better replacement of round robin and uh, experimentally like it's found that uh, random performs better than round robin and it's mentioned in the same so dog so uh, if we are using random uh, instead of round robin so um, generally it's, it's it is found experimentally that uh, random works better and is more performant than round robin now let's talk about consistent hashing and how it works in istio so the idea of consistent hashing is you have a hash function which hashes uh, incoming traffic based on some hash key and then servers are also hashes and hashed and all the traffic uh, goes to the nearest server so for example if i'm hiding based on header name and uh, the hash value turns out to be one, then it would go to service A instance one. If the hash value turns out to be two, it would go to service A instance two, and so on and so forth. So in Istio, I can achieve constant hashing using HTTP header name itself. I can also use HTTP cookie to route my traffic uh, to different instances of the service. I can also use source IP. So for example, consider a case where I want to um, send my traffic to some specific instances running in some specific zone and I want consistent hashing based on the source IP. So if the source IP is, 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 some, is coming from some specific region or uh, for some specific set of users, I want some specific service, I can do that by using consistent hashing with uh, source IP. I can also use HTTP core query parameter uh, to route my traffic to different instances uh, using constant hash. And then I can also use the famous uh, ring hash and maglev uh, in Istio out of the box to achieve constant hashing. So let's also talk about uh, how locality load balancer settings can be configured. So one way is to use a uh, weighted distribution, meaning, um, so if I have a particular reason us west and particular zone zone one then i can route my traffic in a way that um, 80 percent of traffic would go to the same zone and 20 percent would go to different zones so this is like a weighted distribution of traffic based on the locality i can like in a, similarly i can uh, send all the traffic from zone two uh, to remain in the same zone and 80% uh, of it would remain in the same zone and 20% would go to another zone, in this case, zone one. We can also configure locality failover, meaning what happens if a particular service in a particular zone in a region goes down. So I can configure different priorities for different zones, different region to take care of failover scenarios. So in a simple case, I can just uh, configure um failover from us east region to us west meaning if us east services in us east region for some reason goes down then i can still serve my traffic by sending the traffic to services in west region 
Um, so for example, if we take a closer look at this particular diagram, so if I have region one, zone one, and hello world is running inside, and region one, zone two, with the same application distributed among multiple other region and uh, zones. So if I configure uh, fade over settings from region one to region two and region one to region three, so this is how the is how Istio would decide the priority for fade over. So so the highest priority is the same region and same zone. And then if there is no local ID configured, that is given to the second priority. And services running in different zone, but in the same region are given the next higher priority. And then based on the field over settings, um, next, like the next priority is given to zone three in the region two, as uh, I have configured uh, fade over settings from region one to region two. Similarly, for region one to region three, I can have traffic flowing from uh, my region one, so zone one to region three, zone four, because I have configured the fade over setting. So this is like a very high level overview of how we can configure it. And let's try to understand how to achieve that in a multi-cluster. So I would hand over to Jimmy to take it from here. Hi everyone, I'm Jimmy So, the developer advocate of Tetrit. Let me show you how to deal with the multiple cluster load balancing with Istio Source Mesh. So far, everything is good in a single cluster. You can choose whatever load balancer type you like, but for multiple cluster scenario, it's another story. Consider the following multiple cluster setup. We have two clusters from different vendors. Your first thought should be creating a gateway for each cluster and then create another one elsewhere to connect them, right? Here, it comes to the two-tire ingress gateways. For two meshes to communicate, each must have an ingress gateway. In addition, there need to be a unique entry point for user access. So, we will create a new gateway, typically deployed on a separate cluster. It can be in the same cluster, but we don't recommend it. To allow each other to find other endpoints, we need to create a source entry for them. For each cluster to discover and route services, we must create virtual services and destination rules for each two. Meanwhile, cluster zero has also deployed each two and we need to create this easy resource objects in each cluster. Now, let's take a look at this demo. This is the deployment architecture of our demo. I created three Kubernetes clusters on GKE and deployed Istio in each cluster. These three clusters are located in different regions. You can see this is the region name, US Central 1.1, US West 1.1, US West 1.2. I also deployed the booking for application in two tier two clusters. One only deployed the, the product page service and the other cluster deployed the entire services. Next, I will demonstrate how to, how to achieve multiple cluster routing and load balancing. Only by solving the multiple cluster routing problem can we achieve more advanced functions such as load balancing and failover. Because the Tire 1 cluster also deployed Istio, you can apply the load balancing method introduced by Xinwen Shu earlier to this gateway. As you can see from the diagram, Istio is also deployed in the Tire 1 cluster and the two Tire 2 clusters. 
You need to create virtual services, destination rules, and the service entries in each cluster. The service entries need to include the entry points of the ingress gateways of each cluster. I have switched to the cluster zero. Let's check out the Istio resources we have created. This is the ingress gateway, Taiwan gateway. And it, this is hosts. Let's check out the virtual service looking for the tech tree dial. Here is the, the virtual service. You can see the match headers, scatters, selectors, and the HTTP pass. It will be routed to different subsets. Let's check out this subset. And here is the destiny rule from cluster zero. And there are some different subsets. This is the subset name. And we just see this one. Looking for external one zero. Looking for external one zero. Okay. And it will select the entry point with the label match. SV tech trade dial cluster. We have as the annotation to uh, the label to service entry TKE Jimmy US West 1 2. And this is the service entry we created for each cluster. You can see the endpoints with different labels. Here is a label. I have seen on the destination rule subset. This is the way how the Taiwan gateway finds the endpoint of the uh, endpoints from different ingress gateway in the tier 2 cluster. Let's take a look at the rules of users' requests. The effects of this demo is when the user requests this URL with or without X cluster selector header, the request will be routed to different tier two gateway, tier two clusters. Use this command to retrieve the IP address of the tier one gateway. Let's run the test. First, get the gateway IP from the tier one cluster, cluster zero. Then request the URL without HTTP header. To easily view the results, we will export output directly to an HTML file and then view it in browser. Oops. Some service unavailable. Review details. Next, we will request the URL with HTTP header. This time, with five header with cluster one. Let's see the result. It's the same with the last request. This time we'll specify the header with 
caster two. This time it works, everything works fine. This is the same as, as what we, we planned. This demo shows how to use HTTP header and pass routine. You can add the endpoints of tire to clusters to a cluster to a subset and configure load balancing in the destination rule. Add is this subset and as a load band setting here. This is what I mean by multi-cluster load balancing. And after sending some test requests, let's look at the service topology. When the user requests the cluster two, all services will work properly. But when the user requests cluster one, the reviews, ratings, and detailed services will be unavailable. You can solve the failover issue by configuring the ingress gateway in the tier two clusters as an egress, as an east-west gateway. Finally, let's summarize. Istio supports a variety of load balancing types based on Istio. If you use Istio to create various resource object memory, you need to switch back and forth between multiple clusters repeatedly. It is extremely prone to errors. Routine and load balancing across multiple clusters need to be further automated, probably with an interpretation layer on top of Istio. That's what Tetra did. The Istio cluster was deployed with TSB in this demo. It is a product from Tetra and compatible with the upstream Istio. You can learn more about it from the Tetra website. Here are some reference links. If you want to fine tune the load balancing of Istio, you can use Envol filter. I hope this sharing can be helpful to you. Thank you.